Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about logs in base 10. And really, I think the only background info we need to talk about is log functions are the inverse of exponential functions. And so we talked about exponential functions looking like this. And so if we reflect them across y equals x, we will get a log function that looks like this. So on the exponential, remember there is a horizontal asymptote. On a logarithmic function, there's a vertical asymptote. Um, the exponential crossed at y equals 1. The logarithm crosses at x equals 1. Okay? All right, so now um, we need to find log... So log base 10 of 100, or actually, let's talk about this. Log base 10 of x can just be written as log x. So if there's no base written, it's implied that the base is 10. Now, um, another property of logs is that if we have like log base 3 of 3, that's equal to 1. Or log base 10 of 10 that's equal to 1. So if the base and the number that's inside the log are the same, it's just a 1. Okay, now for this first problem, log of 100. Our goal is to write 100 as 10 raised to an exponent. Because remember, there's a base of 10 here. And so if we do log base 10, and then write the 100 as 10 squared, these go to 1 and it's just one times two, and so the answer is two. If we have log and then the fourth root of 10, remember there's a base 10 here, so we have log base 10. We can write the 10 under the, the root four as 10 to the one fourth. These cancel, we're left with one fourth. Now they want us to use our calculator, so I'm going to go to Desmos. I'm going to go And if you go here I'll draw this down a little bit. If you go right here on Desmos, go to math tools, we can go to a scientific calculator and that's what we're going to use. Okay. Now, um, it says use your calculator to write the following in the form 10 to the x. So I guess we don't want Desmos for a second. Okay, so if we're just given 8, what we're going to do is we're going to say that that is 10 raised to the log of 8. And so we need to find out what log 8 is. And I think there's a, let me just try typing it in. Okay. So we just type in log of 8, and that's 0.9031. And so we get 10 to the point nine zero three one is the same thing as eight. <coughs> okay, now we're gonna try eight hundred, which we would write as ten log eight hundred. <coughs> Go over here, find out what log eight hundred is. And it's two point nine zero three. Two point nine zero three one, and that's our answer. And then zero point zero eight is going to be ten log zero point zero eight. Zero point zero eight, and that answer is negative one point zero nine seven. And so we'll just have ten raised to the negative 1.0969. <clears throat> okay. Um, keep moving on to the next part. 
Okay, so it says use your calculator to find log base 2 and log base 20. Or not log base, sorry. Log of 2 and log of 20. So we already did that, <laughs> essentially. So I'm not going to write it down. Log 2 gave us this answer. Log 20 gave us this answer. And it's that simple. Okay, the next one. Okay, um, find x such that log of x equals 3 and log of x approximately equals negative 0 0.271. Okay, so what we want to do. <clears throat> we want to take whatever the base is. So remember the implied base on both of these is a 10. So what we're going to do is some algebra. We're going to do a big 10 and a big 10. Log 10 cancels the big 10. So we just have x equals 10 to the 3. Simplify that. x is 1,000. Okay. Over here, since the base is 10, we do a big 10, big 10. These cancel, and so x is approximately 10 to the negative 0 0.271, and we could plug that into a calculator. Um, I already forgot what it was. What was it? 10, so we say 10 raised to... negative 0 0.271 and we see that that's our answer. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.